I think chemistry is important and it's tr mutual attraction mm -hmm. right. is important. And recently, I mean, I was dating someone for two months and they were the perfect person in every way. But I, there was no, I couldn't, the, mutu the mutual attractiveness just wasn't there. And so it didn't work. Was he not physically yeah. attractive? I think, no, I think he's a handsome guy. Maybe I should say chemistry for us. I, that, it, it wasn't okay. sparking. The so chemistry, what is the chemistry? What is the spark? I don't know, but what I've learned is that you need it. I wish it, it was to my chagrin that the, the spark didn't go off, but it is just, I think it's that thing that makes you, just that draws you to that person initially, and so. Was he you, kind to you? He was, he is the most incredible guy. Everything was perfect, and I like was like, I was like, what is wrong with myself? Yeah, what is wrong with you? I don't know. I, I what asked, is wrong with you? You can ask all my friends. I was like, what is Who, bro I who broke it up. off? We mutually decided. I, I, I went to Montana for a month, and we, we, we didn't talk for a week, and then we called, and we were like, yeah, I think he felt less pressure during that week of silence because he felt like he was constantly trying to make me impress me. And then and I wasn't I just wasn't pressed I wasn't like thinking about him and, and so that's how I knew so I mean amazing guy but it just I don't know I unless I gaslit myself subconsciously and didn't know but yeah, I you, you can I mean I think that everybody looks for that spark at the honeymoon stage yeah. and all of that it, you know over time you you realize that it's not about that yeah it's that you know a lot of relationships you get in you have that spark and then it goes away with everybody I mean I thought three or four women were the one mm -hmm. And it, we didn't. And it ended up. It didn't end up materializing. Yeah. Oh, that was just a. Oh, thing. I was like, hey, yeah. Tell if you me want, to shut up, going, boy. No, keep going. <laughs> no, that, but, uh, that, that's like a, It, it yeah. didn't materialize, and I say, me and my wife. Oh, actually, one did come in. Okay. I okay. Brandon, right. love your channel. Love your your T-shirts. <laughs> Currently wearing my pronouns are USA, but my favorite is the Donald. <laughs> Please show the Donald T-shirt on the channel. Plus, Brian, when are you going out with Layla? Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Um, the Donald T. Do you have one? We yeah, I actually one? wore it on the airplane, oh, okay. but it's the Donald Trump shirt. Oh, okay. He a gangster. He got tattoos and stuff. Everybody oh, okay. loves that shirt. Uh, yeah. So uh, as far as Layla goes, um, just to clue anybody in here at the table or people watching who have no idea, Layla is a woman who's been pursuing me. I get, but she does. <laughs> she does like. She does porn. Oh yeah, well that's a no. And oh. yeah, no, no, no. So I've, I've told, I've rejected her like a dozen times, and she, it's all, it's honestly kind of, she's harassing me at this point. <laughs> Is it so because no. she does porn? Huh? Is it because she does porn that you don't want? Yeah, to? that's just done deal. It's a red, like deal breaker, hundred percent. She also has an IQ of seventy. Well, let's not so be mean here, okay. okay? But she's not. She's a nice girl. She's. I a nice just watched girl. the podcast with her on. You'll she's get a nice the point. girl, but, wow. uh, yeah, it's just I. No, it's not going to happen. So, uh, yeah, you got to have some discipline, right? Okay, so um, <laughs> sorry, sorry that interrupted you. If you want to, no, no, I the person who did the super chat appreciate you, my brother. Thanks okay. for buying the merch. Um, what I wanted to say is that me and my wife didn't have this crazy honeymoon stage. We knew though, we knew when we we were like we just make sense together. And I was what 34, and she was 36, 37 when we got together. So we knew, but it wasn't some miraculous sparkling in our eyes that we encountered. It was more of a mature, uh, we're in the same place in life. We enjoy one another's company, and we want to pursue life together. It didn't, it didn't have to be some crazy shenanigans. But I'm not saying that people don't deserve that. But you just yeah. don't want to overlook an incredible man that can add value to your life um, just because you don't feel that spark. You know, I'm not trying to be a counselor on here, but at the same time, you, you might want to revisit it because it's rare to find a man that you feel that way about and that yeah. you, that's a really good man. Yeah. It's, it's, it, really good men are hard to find, to be quite honest. The same thing with women. If you're a really good, incredible woman, you know, that, that chemistry would be hard to find. Yeah, that's, that's to almost some degree the, the vibe. There's, there's a whole bunch of words for it. The vibe, the right. click, the spark, the butterflies, the lightning, all these terms for it, right? I almost wonder, and at least it's the case for me, I, it seems to be it's more so something that women need is the click or the spark. But why can't that either be something that develops? Because I think that I, the click or the spark is almost in the same category of, as love at first sight. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Most of us would agree that we don't immediately fall in love with somebody. Right. So why why can't it also be the case that we just don't immediately fall into the click? Maybe that could be something that can take time to develop. But people, because they've had it in the past where, oh, I have it, I feel the click, the spark instantly. They feel like they need that in all their relationships going forward. Um, my question is, if the click or the chemistry or the vibe, the spark, whatever, whatever term you want to use is, you felt that with a guy before. Has every girl here felt that with a guy before? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That obviously, it's apparent to me, I think, well, we haven't gone through the relationship status on everyone. You're no longer with that guy. It's clear to me that the click, the spark, the whatever it is, like for you, for example, mm -hmm. have you ever felt the click with a guy and it ended really badly? Yes. So it's not clear to me if having the click and the chemistry precludes you from uh, the, re like the relationship continuing from having a good relationship. So I don't know. I don't, well, whatever. I don't yeah, I think communication is key too. Because, I mean, maybe both of you guys are going through something. Maybe you got out of a, a tumultuous relationship, or maybe you got some stuff you need to take care of, mm -hmm. with, you know, whether it's going to counseling or whatever the case may be. And so does he. It's a conversation that you guys probably should have, is have a conversation with each other and then get back on the same page. Because me and my wife, we were friends first, and so we would talk about all our stuff first. I never thought about dating a day in my life. I would never move to California. So it, it seems as if we weren't going anywhere, mm -hmm. but we developed a friendship first and then we knew, and it was practical. Uh, women are emotional, not every woman, but most women are emotional. So that emotional thing is what draw you to somebody, but you have to at some point uh, go beyond the emotions, get to practical and then you can, you know, I think you'll find a better fit yeah. with you and somebody. I tried to be friends I, that was what I and I, what I wanted, and then but now he's dating someone else, so that so sad. But I also think that that's part. <laughs> so, oh, no, because no. I was thinking about him. I was like, maybe I should just, you know. But well, first it was hurting him that I was not able to like reciprocate the same like passion, and so I didn't want to hurt him. So that was like so that's when I thought let's be friends, and maybe that friendship will develop, you know. But he went and found another girl. Hey, good for him. I also think like that spark for women also that's a bond that forms when you're sexually active so like we weren't we're Christians we're not trying to do that and so that also and sometimes I would think man if this was like an arranged marriage it would just have to happen and then the spark would come eventually and then it'd be great yeah but but you already know the spark is could be devastating I, I you know, I'm so. with you yeah <laughs> Wait, I'm just a little confused you said so you said you're a Christian but the spark typically will come when you're sexually active with a person. Yeah. You weren't sexually active with him, but you said you've had the spark or the click with other men. Wait, so you're not sexually active. The click is something that occurs when you're sexually active. But how? why were you expecting the click if you're not planning to be sexually active? I'm just a little confused. Well, for some... Some Sometimes it happens on a, like when you kiss a guy, right? For the I'm looking around to see if anyone else agrees. <laughs> when you kiss a guy, and it didn't happen when we kissed, but that was really as far as we went. I think the sparking comes just from flirting. Yeah, mm -hmm. just talking to the person, yeah. and you can you know how you click. Like it doesn't have to be like yeah. during sex or kissing or whatever. It just yeah. you know, like if you're flirting, the eyes. You know, yeah. doing faces. Yeah, I think just the sex just makes it a plus. Yeah. And also, you can romanticize yourself into that, right? Yeah. I mean, right. if you listen to love songs like, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you're fantasizing in a hopeless romantic you know, posture, mm -hmm. it's almost like when that, you're looking for it. And when that person meets some of those criteria, good looking guy, good job, or whatever the case may be, now you've set yourself up to fall into that sure. romanticized. Um, you know, relationship, and, and it's easy to happen, but it's it's something that most people should avoid. Yeah, and if I could just, uh, I want to ask the chat a question really quick related to the click, then we will continue with uh, relationship status. Um, so, the click, vibe, chemistry, whatever you want to call it, uh, I personally think it's not a great thing to look for because I think it has absolutely no bearing on someone's quality mm -hmm. as a long-term partner. I do think it happens to be the case that this is something that women are looking for more than men. Women are chasing this elusive click or, you know, whatever it is, fine. 